already. Early adaptations from Kemchup. Um, putting away the Ken for now. Maybe not, not happy with how that performed in Winner's Finals. Nah, as someone that is not that first on Ken and Ryu, I have no idea the difference between the two characters. Except for the fact that one of them can shoot red fireballs and the other one can shoot Ryu is seeming to be more of a, a grounded character than Ken. Um, actually, both characters are similarly grounded, but. Um, Ryu's moves having properties more suited for cutting through clouds uh, approaches with that multi-hit the beacon and then perhaps a more uh, robust or a less robust a B hitbox but definitely arguably more powerful when you hit it when you hit the correct input. And it's his projectile is definitely Oh and that's gonna be oh, a yeah, that'll be the stock, yeah. Charlie using the side beat getting hit by the new trophy and then using the jump immediately after was not the right call. He definitely should have fast called However, he's also gonna be able to take him out. Taking advantage of Ryu's uh, more powerful Tatsu hitbox to seal off the stock there. Uh make keeping it up. Now, Charlie uh is probably gonna be looking for an edge another edge guard situated. Time. Charlie has racked up an early lead in the second stock, but uh, ooh, catching the last hit of that, of that cross slash. Fishing for these back airs here. Do you ever see the running back air? We'll send him into a very disadvantageous position, or if not, kill him outright. Again, Another top two there. Yeah. One more Tatsu might yeah. just kill. Definitely the ideal, uh, yeah. Definitely the ideal scenario for Kemcha here, considering how that stuff was going to catch, catch Charlie earlier with that, uh, that focus attack. It'd be amazing that these four players are teaming. Yeah, Cloud, not many multi-hits, but definitely more opportunity for Ryu to really cut through these attacks and punch. Amazing cancel there, um, getting back around the uh, Although the back air is gonna connect. The back air is the back air. You However, at 60%, one, one, uh, at, he isn't just, Tommy is now at 12%. It's definitely possible for him to die. And electing to burn his limit on the meter on the blade beam there. He's got that blade beam in him. But uh, not for long. So, so, so. One more conversion, one more top two. We'll seal this game. Oh, oh no. my god. An excellent DI from Chachi to stay alive there. Knowing exactly what was coming and not being afraid to DI at free and free. At 77% now, if Cloud makes it insane, oh no. Not surviving a second Tatsu Kim. At 140, that is gonna kill me. Game one for Chemchuck here. Is great. Great. Already, we're seeing great adaptations from Chemchuck. Making the right decision to. Uh, Put in Ryu instead of Ken. Yeah, the, utilizing the Tatsu and the projectiles. Better. The downhill Tatsu conversion seeming to catch uh, Charlie off guard here, not quite knowing if, if there's a way to escape that or not. Remaining um, oh. the stinking, sticking with Cloud and Ryu. Uh, Chachi, known for his adaptation, uh, not one to lose 3 0. Always going to put up a fight in these scenarios. Go! Go Seems to be happy with his happy enough with his PS2 performance to run it back. Or perhaps he just he just doesn't know what he kind of picked against Ryu and I wouldn't blame him for that. Uh, no one plays this character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, multi-hit the multi-hit uh the Duke doing a good job of stuffing out the blade beam. He's really stuffing out Cloud's approaches in general. He's not seems to be struggling to get in here, allowing for uh, Ryu to successfully punish the stage. Oh, amazing damage. Yeah. Calling out that dash attack with Squad Dog. Sure you uh, punish the air. Maybe just going 
for Rock or Sam not thinking about to hit, but allowing Charlie to hit a forward air punish. Punch up is definitely a really smart place. Just racking up so much percentage. Yeah, Kepchuk has the move. See, he's almost a stock off there, but uh, catches a forward air, they're not quite gonna die. Oh, uh, Forget he doesn't have a jump in here. Doesn't cancel the, the focus attack. No jump. And he needs an SD for it. Cloud using his meter. Yeah, not landing a ooh a reversal there. Not not what he wanted, I don't think. But um, amazing. That dragon punch will yeah. take it. Shield. He was able to shoot the first the first jab and able to convert it. Yeah. Cloud struggling heavily with these uh, multi-hit fireballs here. Really, really giving him a hard time coming in. What I'd like to see from Charlie is maybe more of these cross slashes. They one of the few multi-hit moves Cloud really has access to uh, often. Maybe allowing him to cut through these focus attacks more without, without eating quite so many punishes for him. Okay. That'll be game two for Kemchup. Going out to an early set, a quick set lead here. Give it your all. Kemchup, uh, anticipating the release of Street Fighter VI by playing Ryu and Ken <laughs> in this bracket, did he get a beta code though? That is the real question. He probably did and is implementing new moves that are only in is it implementing Street Fighter VI. Street Fighter VI <laughs> exclusive tech. <laughs> Taking a break to plug in his phone. Um, Mid-set. Uh, kind of insane. Is it? Is it we is can it? see... Um, Chachi is definitely reflecting on these past two games. Oh, we really have too much time to reflect. Is he the is Kemchup the new Iceman of Slow? <laughs> um. <laughs> Good question. Now we did put a W next to Chachi's name, but he's not really living up to it right now. He's not, not really uh, appearing to be the winner's side here. As Kemchup has made stellar adaptations to his cloud, to the cloud playstyle with this Ryu pick. I can't really overstate how effective these projectiles have been against, yeah, against Cloud Jade. Uh, Ken with a much worse to do him, uh, relatively. He does not have the multi hit effect on the input. Uh, Red actually considered to be a, one of the worst projectiles. Easy catch there. Not Nothing where you can do. If, you, if he went under that, he dies. If he goes over it, it was, it's too late. Vulnerable to him. Definitely quick, a bad spot. However, quick stock from Chachi, but the pickup here from Ryu is amazing. Already getting from 50 to 86. Yeah, one one down tilt, uh, one successful down tilt here and it will nearly be the stock for uh, Ryu here. But um, one more top two shit. Yeah, I mean, di or no di? I think that one should be killed. But uh, quick answer with the cross slash here. Go ahead. I really like when the, the cross opportunity. Most of Ryu's moves, you know, punching, kicking, even the multi-hit fireball, not gonna cut through a, a disjointed multi-hit with cross slash. But, uh, Cloud now with two meter. Yeah, in a position to kill with a with a well placed. Oh, they got oh man. Disrupted. Disrupted the Ooh, edge guard. Excellent awareness with the F tilt there. Um, one of the best um, at, at, at utilizing Cloud's uh, anti ledge tools. Uh, Charlie will catch you with a back air uh, at any place, at any type of ledge you get up. But if you miss that ledge, you are going to catch it. You are going to catch a punish. This would be the game uh, for Kemchup to take this reset. Uh, Charlie, a dangerous player with momentum. Uh, Kemchup definitely looking to seal it out before Charlie can, be, can implement any new adaptations within this grand final set one. A little more leeway in the reset, it would seem like, but uh, Charlie doing his best to make sure that doesn't happen. Tatsu off ledge. Now 90% um, is no Oh, but uh, this would be big damage conversion here. Um, oh, Ooh. tries to go for the read on the ball. Unfortunately, not going to land. Yeah, another dangerous edge guard situation for, uh, for the Ryu here. Ryu's able to get out of it, though. However, 
139. No, he isn't. He's definitely in back air territory here. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> As I said before, Charlie, a monster with those back airs, he's just swinging. You're gonna get hit. Really hard to and and Chachi that, takes a game. That's game three Chachi right there, uh, taking the game. Uh, question is, is Kem gonna let this disrupt his momentum or is he gonna be able to press forward? Yeah, will yeah. will he stick with the Ryu uh, I think after Kev's, Chachi's adaptations or will the Kem come back out, hopefully trying to surprise him, throw off his uh, game plan a little bit. He's you know. sticking with the Ryu. Firmly in the Ryu camp tonight in these grand finals. Definitely is not feeling Ken right now. And for a good reason. They did. He, he has taken two more games with the Ryu than the Ken ever has. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, Ryu is the main character of Street Fighter. Uh, Ryu, uh, much less prone to those punishable up Bs that he was throwing out with Ken. So he's more likely to throw out a, a side B in neutral, if anything. That's much harder to punish considering it's strong, lasting hitbox. And less land, like less of a landing line situation. We're cutting through the blade beams here with the focus attack, racking up 66% in fairly short order on Chachi's cloud. Uh, yeah. Amazing catch! Is the meter for Answering back in a hurry, Chachi here with these uh, <laughs> these back airs and, and in the uh, into the uh, miss on the side B here, but. Ooh, okay, he seems to have the, the dial up on those uh, side B, down tilt side B conversions here. DIing away and checking back. Amazing call from the Ryu is going to He is sick with it. <laughs> Making it look like Smash 4 Cloud with these ledge hogging back airs here. Kemchup is definitely not playing like he did in game one and game two. No, he's just not getting as many opportunities and then Charlie adapting to the tech adapting to the kill confirms uh, modifying his DI accordingly to avoid those Tatsus at early percent. And racking up a lot of damage. 61, yeah. 70 percent, 85 percent now. This is no just joke. Not challenging the focus attack, simply waiting and catching the back air at a later time. That's excellent adaptation that a lot of player's mistake against Ryu is just charging into those focus attacks and generally catching a lot of damage for it, but Charlie uh, holding off on his later two games and dodging a lot of these heavy punishes. Pinchup is not able to Okay, uh, trying to challenge the Tatsu, always risky, always a gambit, but uh, catching the foot for it. Yeah. Now 127%, that is still not... Not favorable. Interesting punish option there with the, the shore. You can uh, so allows Cloud to punish with anything. With forward air, really, in that scenario, is the best option for him. But hmm. he relying heavily on these focus yeah. attacks. Ryu going for a shield break potentially, although he is not applying a lot of pressure. And yeah. Cloud is already back. Yeah, Tachi really ruling the pace of this game, not letting Kemchup get it started. In, in any passive here, uh, just tearing up these focus attacks with the multi hit climb hazards, the multi hit side beats, simply just waiting. And the uh, Kemchub not really seeming to have an adaptation yet for the, for the patience of Chashi in this matchup. The, con the conversion is. Just not enough to take the stock when he needs it. And the and limit climb hazard. Yeah, dragon punching the dragon puncher. <laughs> Cloud's very own shore you can take in game four for Chachi. Amazing oh, yeah, You gotta watch out for that limit climb hazard. It was definitely. Oh, I think you made it four. Oops. Yeah, it's the game four on the mind. <laughs> Chachi is now 4 2. He broke the bracket. Chachi has taken 4 games. In, <laughs> in one game, Chachi managed to take 4. That is unprecedented. First time in Smash history. <laughs> no. Now, are we seeing the 10 or are we going to see the 10? Is Kim Chachi off? Okay, he's switching back to the 10. 
The pen is a comfort okay. pick this here. This is I think. a comfort pick. The question is, can you be able to adapt? Oh. And also, not having played pen in the past four games, he's going to be a little rusty, perhaps. Perhaps he's attempting. He's going to attempt to catch Chachi with some of the pen setups that uh, he's not expecting coming from four games of three matchup. But an early lead here, but uh, Chachi never wanted to stay down too long. If he gets one clip here, it, it's probably an easy one. Yeah, up the edge too is definitely going to be cloud saving races. Yeah. Holding up these uh, cross slashes here, maybe not as useful against Ken as they were against Ryu. Uh, maybe one of the adaptations Ken Chup is looking for is to go punish more of those. He certainly has so far. And that might An edge guard great adjacent situation. Here. Great edge guarding. Not yeah. good for Ken. Not good for Ken, but definitely better for Ken than Ryu with that fiery up Oh yeah. And even though. Oh, yeah, another just call out of the air there. Kemchup has been landing those. That's a staple Pretty. of Kemchup's gameplay. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's in, in the, the back, back air. The when back you least expect it, even when you do expect it, you're still gonna get hit by that back air. Alright, a nice 30% of that. Even, fairly even game here, both players. Um, I'm trying to go for basic confirms. Chops is kind of a blade beam. Uh, punishing Kemchup's advance with a rapid up B there out of shield. Mm, getting caught on the down swing there, but, uh, yeah, unable to punish the Ken up B. Uh, Kemchup does like to throw those out. Yeah. If Charlie picks up on that, like he picked up on the Tatsu DI in those last two games, then it could be a. Could be a Sticky situation for yeah. so both characters are yeah. yeah. to up tilt instead of perhaps like a forward smash, which may be so strong. No, up smash? I'm not gonna kill just yet. And yeah, he bold uses call out yeah. on the up there. Not yeah. gonna lie in that Interesting to note, the Chachi doesn't use Todd's forward smash almost ever, and that's understandable with its how slow the move it is, but. It has when, amazing knockback. back. Yeah, when you, when you have as much time as you do with it, a whiffed up the it, it, it seems like a reasonable punish when you're on the ground next to him, but uh, perhaps we'll ask him after the match. Um, what are his thoughts on that? On that one. Thoughts. Thoughts. Now, both characters are about even percent. At this point, about any of Right. Cloud looking for almost any straight hit here. Uh, maybe not an up air, but it's back air for sure. A, a dangerous offstage situation. Oh, finally catching a punish on one of those whipped up bees. Kemchup, uh, not afraid to throw it out though. And, uh, we are um, on a time crunch here. Uh, Charlie doing his best to make sure we don't get in trouble with the janitors again for overstaying the time in this room. But, uh, Kemchup on a mission to uh, see the club in deep trouble. The school administration. He was paid off to try to shut this club down. The question is, is this tactic going to work. Uh, Charlie um, has definitely adapted to Ken here. It's it's it's, it's really his game at this point to lose. Yeah. Um, We're just seeing huge percentage of Yeah. Almost a, basically an entire stock lead here from Charlie. I mean, it's just looking good. Ooh, the, the F tilt call out on the back dash. Now we're looking for a. <laughs> 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 now, no. Ken is here going off stage. Yeah, Ken off stage. Charlie uh, is going to be able to recover, but again gets yeah, caught, ooh, caught the very road. low here, looking for the back air. And he's going to take it with the back air. The classic, the Charlie classic. They're going to take Slowbroke Reborn. Cloud Good stuff from Charlie. Excellent stuff from Kemchub. Reaching grand finals uh, from loser's bracket. And uh, we're going to get um, some post-game commentary from Chachi himself. Chachi, you want to tell us why you had 